Hello and welcome. Today we're going to continue the series about Cloudberry Remote Assistant product. Last time we had an electronic unboxing and a first look at some of the controls in the menu. And today we're going to move to the next stage where one computer assists another computer by taking over control. In the environment I'm going to demonstrate this, there is computer one on which there's Cloudberry installed. We used this computer last time and I'm adding computer two. Computer two is going to be the computer that will ask for assistance. Now in today's demonstration, computer two will be installing the lightweight version of Cloudberry. So let's proceed. I'm on the Cloudberry Remote Assistance website. Click the download freeware and I have two options. I have the full version, which we installed last time, and there is the Remote Assistance Quick Support version. Uh, this is the product going to demonstrate today. The light version of, of Cloudberry a Remote Assistance is ideal for those people who only need support occasionally or who for reasons such as being restricted by their administrators or because they do not have admin rights on their machines cannot perform a full product installation. In fact, if we read the description below, we're told that this is a light version um, and it does not need product installation or administrative permissions. Similar to this are portable apps. Um, portable apps are apps which um, do not require uh, an installation footprint in the traditional sense. Maybe in a future um, video um, we'll have a look at some of these applications. So without further ado, I'm clicking the download button. I'm being asked what I would like to do. And in my case, I'm going to run the product. Microsoft scans it. I've minimized the browser. And when the product loads, you will notice that the interface is a cut-down version of the full product. Let us wait for the product to load. Now, I'm being asked um, by Windows Defender Firewall whether I would like this app to receive information directly from the Internet, possibly bypassing the, the firewall. In my case, I do not need to, to allow this type of functionality. You might recall last time that there was an option here in beta uh, related to allow direct LAN connections. I do not know whether this will impact, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to allow that functionality. So I'm going to choose cancel. Now, once the interface loads, you will notice if you compare the two interfaces of Cloudberry that I have the add window, similar to the full product. In the slimmed down version, I only have one window, which is the computer ID and the PIN. Why? Because in this version, the only functionality that is available is to allow a remote computer to support to connect to this computer. What will happen if this were a real life situation would be that the person on computer 2 would communicate the computer ID and the PIN to the person of compu on computer 1 who will take over control. So first of all, switching to computer 1, the option here is control remote computer and I'm keying in the code. Connect. Once um, a connection is established, the next item is the pin. This would be communicated between the two parties, either via phone or secure chat. Once a connection is established, you will notice that the two mice on the computer are synced and the Computer 2 is presented inside a window within Computer 1. 
so in order to make things uh, easier to see i'm going to maximize here let's start by exploring a few of the options so on top of computer one i have a toolbar and this toolbar the options are the auto hide option which normally you might want to use i have noticed that um for frequent users of, of Cloudberry, the auto hide option does not seem to retain to memorize its position between sessions. And it's not a critical issue, but it would be a nice to have. There is the menu, um, and, and we'll get to that at the end. Next in line is the chat functionality. The chat functionality, um, especially if it is not possible to speak in any other way with the other side is a function that allows the two parties to communicate with each other so uh, messages come up and the chat the chat comes and the message is communicated across this button is applicable in those situations where there is a multi-monitor environment it allows you to choose the monitor on which the remote session is projected the audio button um, screen because it's enabled actually is the button that allow that dictates whether you want to be able to listen to the sounds generated from the remote computer and i'm switching that off and the mic option uh, similarly whether you want to be able to listen to the mic of the remote computer the next two icons allow you to dictate whether you want to scale the window so as you can see when i toggle the button it goes between the scrolled version adjusting aspect ratio or a fit in window while this button toggles full screen and you will notice that the window has gone and you can really see the full screen in in all its glory for my purposes i'm going to leave this option as it next in line is the file transfer functionality so the file transfer allows you to transfer files to the remote computer so in this case i'm going to upload the file i have an image file and if i open the file transfer queue it was very fast what happened was the file got transferred to the remote computer if you look on the screen of computer 2 you will see that there is a message that a file transfer was completed so the person looking on computer 2 can easily follow what is going on so i click the button here i'm if i open the download folder that is the image and if i open the image that is the image i had transferred the person on computer 2 knows and is made aware that his screen is being shared uh, you have the functionality to auto hide this if one wants so moving on i'm going to close this the final icon is the disconnect which i will leave to the very end of of this uh, tutorial now visiting hamburger menu i have most of the functionality i've seen in the icon there's chat mic I can choose um, uh, which device uh, I'm using for playback and, and recording. File transfer and diagnostics, which are important if you have a problem and you would like uh, Cloudberry support on the topic. In the view options, I can show the remote case. I can hide the desktop wallpaper. If I uncheck that, what happens is I get the desktop, right? That tends to add a little bit of overhead. So if the internet connection is slow, it could be advisable to disable that functionality as was the case. Um, there is also for Windows, the Aero style, the transparent style which again takes on a few cpus and bandwidth to 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 replicate across 
So if the connection with the remote the computer being supported is slow, it could help to disable that functionality. We've seen the monitor option already, and here you have more uh, detailed control. You can set the resolution you would like to use. Basically, the higher the resolution, more data will need to be transferred. So uh, it is a balance um, between having a higher resolution and having less detail. I mean, just as a, a comparison, uh, you will see what happens when uh, this is set to 800 by 600. A lot of desktop space, you know, gets lost. So moving back, I'm going to go to the default. Once replicated, it gives me the ideal, in my case, Shenayo. Again, these are settings you will, in reality, need to visit only if you're having performance problems. If the person you're connected to would be on a slow internet or a problematic internet line. Image quality, true color, requires more bandwidth and will impact the response time. In fact, one common question that is asked, how do the options, these four options, uh, impact functionality? The more higher the value, the slower will be the reaction to movements uh, on the computer. So if I take this icon for argument's sake and move it here, as you can see in my demonstration, the two screens were in sync. If the bandwidth suffers, the information will need to be communicated, so the bottleneck will exist there, and so the latency between the two computers will become evident. It's a matter of, of calibration, in effect. You can show connection statistics. Basically, this information may help you diagnose um, uh, some issues you may have. From personal experience, using defaults, I have not experienced any particular uh, issues or problems with respect to latency. The last options are the Cloudberry Lab website, check for updates, uh, and, and the about option. Again, showing this screen so that people can align themselves about the build I am using for this demonstration. Now, below is another control, and this control, unlike the one I have described before, is visible on the two computers. So basically, this is common to both computers. This is the control panel for the computer that is being controlled. In this particular case, it's computer 2. So, chat option, similar to the one we had, audio, recording, and here we have a new icon. This icon will allow you to control what the remote user can do. Now, this is, in my opinion, one of the more important icons of this control panel. Here you can have either full control or view only. With full control, and in order to help uh, a bit not confuse issues, I'm minimizing here. So, here I am, computer one, with my remote window. Now, the setting is for full control. So, with full control, I can create files, I can open File Explorer, right, and, and, do, and move about in the directories. On the other hand, when I'm in view only, this functionality is not possible. So, as you can see on computer one, nothing is reactive. I've informed that I'm in view mode only, but I am at the moment right clicking and I cannot do any action. I am trying to click on the PC and as you can see, there is no reactivity. The view mode only is intended those situations where the remote client, so now I'm moving to the remote client, would like to demonstrate some functionality. A person has a problem but would like to be in read-only mode. He's showing you what the problem is 
and uh, you can then chat chat will still work or speak and guide the person with non-computer actions this is the difference between the two options if irrespective of whether in view or in full control mode the computer that is being supported can send files to the remote computer so for this let's open the directory this directory was set last time and the supported computer in my case it's computer 2 is going to send a file so let's go into desktop computer 2 image upload and there we go the image got transferred so if i go back to into computer one if i look at the menu functionality here being that this is a limited functionality interface the final option available in both is the exit command and once that happens the session terminates so if i now close cloudberry and i would like you to take note of the pin it's 8816 i'm going to download it again so let's imagine you know uh, another session and another date and then at, at another time every time the cloudberry remote assistant opens the computer id will remain the same but the pin changes from one setting to the other before we conclude the last topic i'd like to cover is the proxy setting this we discussed last time and if you have a problem establishing a connection please refer to that tutorial cloudberry again will ask you to leave them a review and if you can help their case it, it would be um, uh, something they are really keen on on having to build the product who would need or who would benefit from the r remote assistance quick support anyone who is not a frequent user of cloudberry it could be a parent a grandparent uh, it, it could be uh, a friend you know a one time they have a problem normally they would call you and you try to figure out what they're seeing and what they're talking about and, and trying to get the frustration about their translating uh, computing object into words and it could be a client with cloudberry you can now have that remote support person come in give you or show you full control or or limited control and you have the option to be able to help them more effectively that's all for me for today. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And until next time, goodbye.